Bionic Gloves presents the Hands-On Golf Podcast, bringing anatomy and hand function to the forefront of glove design to improve comfort, fit, and performance. Welcome everyone to this edition of the Bionic Gloves Hands-On Golf Podcast. My name is Chaz Rao, I am your host, and I'm here today with another question. This one comes in from Eric Haber, and his question is, Chaz, I have lots of problems with my setup to the ball. Meaning, where should the ball be positioned in relation to my stance for each club in the bag? Well, Eric, that is an excellent question, and we're going to be speaking with PGA Pro Barry Bonifield from here at the Crescent Hill Golf Course in Louisville, Kentucky. So, just for you submitting your question, question and us using it, you're going to get one of these bonnet gloves. So, thank you for your uh, your question. And if anyone out there has a question that you would like us to use, please send those to podcast at bonnetgloves.com. And if we do use it, you will be getting a free glove as well. So let's go out and join Barry on the course to see if he can answer this week's question from Eric. Hey, Barry. Hey, Chad. How are you? Hey, I got a quick question. I had another email come in from a gentleman by the name of Eric, and he wanted to know how to set himself up with the ball with the various clubs that he's got in his bag. Can you help us with that question? Oh, sure. Great question. Uh, Tell you what I'll do. I'll grab uh, three different golf clubs that'll be representative of the three different club groups within the bag. I'll grab a driver, I'll grab a five iron, and I'll grab a a pitching wedge. And I'll walk right over here and and cover this with you, and this may be of some benefit. I've got a ball here on the ground, and uh, let me show you how I start my setup. And uh, some of this is, uh, is, can be built into your routine over the golf ball and you want your routine to be as standard as possible with each club and to not vary too much. So I've got my driver here to start. So the first thing I'll do is I'm going to aim my club at the target and with my driver I do the very best I can to position the golf ball right across from my logo on my shirt and for most people that will fall about at the left heel of your left foot uh, of your front foot so if you're a lefty it'll be your right foot but as a right hander it's my forward foot toward the hole either way so when I when I set up to the golf ball that golf ball right now needs to be about even with my left chest right here okay and so that becomes very important because there's a flat spot at the bottom of every golf swing and that flat spot will change just a little bit as the golf clubs get longer or shorter. So it's more forward in the stance with the longer clubs, like a driver, shorter or and more to the right with the shorter clubs, like a five iron or pitching wedge. Now, the flip side of that becomes if I want to hit the golf ball higher with any club, I move the ball more toward my left foot, my front foot. So with the driver, if I wanted to hit it real high up over the trees, I might move it toward my left toe. But with my five iron or pitching wedge to hit it high, I might have that right off my left heel. The converse is true as well. If I want to hit the golf ball lower, I'm going to move it back in my stance this way as opposed to off my left foot. It might be more even with my zipper. And the same with my five iron or pitching wedge. If I have to hit one of those clubs under some limbs, for example, I might have my pitching wedge closer to my right foot, but always keeping my hands slightly ahead to adjust the trajectory of the shot. Now let me show you a real easy to do drill that will help you practice this yourself. And I'm going to grab these other two clubs on the ground to assist us here. And here's the drill. This is real easy. I'm going to put one club on the ground parallel to my target line, okay? And and my target line is here even with the golf ball going forward. This club is parallel to that line. Then I'm going to lay another club across that club in a perfect 90 degree angle, and that club is going to point right at my golf ball. So with my driver, I'm going to have that club even with my left heel, just like that. With my five iron, I would probably have it just back from my left heel. And with my wedge, I'd probably have it right about in the middle of my stance. As I move the the ball to the right or to the left, the more to the right I move it, the lower I'll hit it. The more to the left I move it, the higher I'll hit it. And when you're hitting a big club like the driver, you've got to have it forward in your stance to hit it well. 
Hope that answers your question. Great. Thank you, Barry.